Hey, you're watching Swisscom. Uh, let's do it again. We, we lost a sponsor, so we, we, we have a new sponsor. Hey, you're watching Music Talk. We're here at Zurich Open Air with Joanna from First Day Kid. Hey, Joanna. Hello. Nice to have you here. Uh, we saw you on stage. Uh, there was a lot of mud outside. Is this the right terrain to listen to your music? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Why not? Yeah, I like mud. <laughs> you like mud. Uh, this is what folk music is all about, right? A little mud, a little dirt, a little yeah, pain. Like a little pain. A little, it's the music of pain. Country music, isn't it? But also, also of uh, nature at all, uh, or something yes. like that. Uh, so your uh, The Lion's Roar is your new album. Uh, tell us a little bit about the production. I saw that, uh, or I, I read, for example, that your father was involved, that Connor Roberts is involved, the guy I like very much. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we recorded the album in uh, a city called Omaha, Nebraska, in the U.S. And yeah, we got to do it with our, our dad came along. He plays the bass. And uh, we, the producer is called Mike Mogus, and he's from the band Bright Eyes. Um, or Conor Oberst is the lead singer and songwriter. Um, so they both play with us on the record. Um, it's pretty incredible. It's, uh, they, they're the band that got us into music. So it was a huge deal for us. And uh, yeah, it was, it was an amazing experience because our first record was recorded in my bedroom. And now we went to this huge, amazing studio in America and recorded with our biggest musical idols. So a very big step for us. But uh, it's also may maybe a difference because when you do it in your bedroom, it's you who is the artist. I mean, you're still the artist, but someone comes and say, did you try this or did you try that? Is that hard to maybe change a song? Not really, no. I mean, Mike had such good ideas and we discussed it so much with him. It didn't feel like he was going to change anything, really. He just gave it a different kind of feel and um, just made it, made it a bit more, gave it a bit more depth and... It was all a good thing, and, and of course, we were n very nervous when we came there. We had no idea what to expect. We'd never worked with a producer before, and, you know. But as soon as we, you know, did the first take, we knew instantly that it was going to be an incredible journey for us, and working with him was going to be great. And then you went straight to number one in Sweden. How was that about? And where did you learn it? Uh, I don't know. I think we were at, at home at the time when we heard that, um, and it was just so unexpected because. I mean, our first album didn't do that well in Sweden or anywhere really, and, and then all of a sudden it just exploded in Sweden and we were everywhere and it was, yeah, it, we just feel like our kind of music isn't really the one, the kind that usually, you know, tops the charts, but um, it just shows how amazing Sweden can be and, yeah. Did you get now invitations to King Carl Gustav or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we played for him several times. <laughs> really? Yeah, but not like at its in his castle, but the Polar Prize Award, for example, he was there in the audience. He's a fan. <laughs> and and uh, his son, which is still available, is he a fan? He, his what? His still available, so you still be, could become a princess or something. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to. I don't. I'm not supportive of that whole thing, just so you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, so tell us about a little bit about your influences, because it's not the music typically you and your sister or women like you and your sister do. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your influences. What do you mean women? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean... Well, well I mean, nowadays, uh, young women, they are more like in this, uh, in this mainstream stuff and stuff. And then it's very refreshing to, f to see real artists, yeah. you know? Well, I don't know. I think they're real too. And I think a lot of women or people in general listen to this kind of music. I just feel, and I think that it's pretty popular actually right now, like with Mumford and & Sons and Flea Foxes and everything, like it's getting pretty big. And for us, it was just, I don't know, we, we heard the song First Day of My Life, Bright Eyes, and it was kind of like a revelation to us because it just felt so simple and heartfelt and so basic and pure. And the music, before music was kind of just something in the background, something we danced to and sang to, but when we heard that song, it became, our lives and our passion and we just love the, like, how raw it feels, how true it is and honest it is and that's what we strive for in music. That's great because I really like that this, there's kind of like a renaissance of original music because uh, a lot of labels and TV stations they just wanted this instant stars yeah. and that's what I meant with women because they, yeah. they just want the girls they can put for 50 minutes on the stage, get the money and 
next, you know. Yeah. But, um, when you write songs, uh, how how is this? Uh, where, how where does that happen, and how how do you get influenced, or how did, do you get started? Um, I think we get a lot of influence from being on the road and, and seeing, you know, all these things happen to us. It's it's definitely an inspiring environment to be in, but. Right now we're kind of too busy to write songs, so we just get these ideas and then we bring them home and work on them together. And usually Clara's the one who starts off like with a few words and, and uh, a little melody line and then we work it out together and we write the different parts and kind of work it out, yeah. What is first? Uh, I always ask that because everybody mm -hmm. hates that, but and I, I, we had some people saying for sure the melody, some said yeah. uh, f for sure the lyrics, but we had also people saying the title. Did you ever start with the title? Hmm. I don't think so, no. <laughs> we usually work that out, the last thing we do. Um, but lyrics generally come first, I think. Yeah. And now you're on tour everywhere and uh, you meet with people like Connor Roberts, like Jack White and other people. Uh, what is the best advice you got from people like this so far? Oh. I don't know. Let me think a little bit. <laughs> um, I can't think of anything like directly that they said, um, but I just, I guess it's more of like a feeling of seeing them live, like how they're so, I mean, Flea Foxes I love because they're just, they're not about the visuals at all or like the show. They just go up and they like tune the guitars in front of the audience and they don't, you know, it's just all about the music and the musicianship and I really admire that. and. I mean, Jack White is, on the other hand, all about the show, and he has like this incredible feeling for like, like when he writes his set list, which, which songs should I, should I play next? And I, I think just seeing him, like how he did that, because he changed it up every night when we saw him, was really cool and really inspiring, and how he rocked out. And so now we're like head banging on stage a little bit, and <laughs> I don't know, we're just trying to have more varied expressions and try out different kind of things, and um, be a bit more daring, I think. So. It's, it's really like this, that you meet people and then sometimes you steal some tricks from oh, yeah. them. Yeah, I mean, music and creativity is all about stealing. We do that all the time. Like, there's this quote, it's like, it's not where you take things from, it's where you take them to. So, stealing is okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, yeah, Sweden, Sweden with Parape and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect for that. <laughs> All right, and, and what are the plans now? You have an album which is actually very new out, but it seems to be here forever because I saw you already in Apart in Zurich playing. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, so what are the plans now? What's going on? We're going to um, release a new single. It's called Wolf, and we're, we're recording a music video for that. And then we're going to go um, on tour again with the album. Um, we're going to go back to the States and then do a Europe tour um, and then go to Australia. And then we'll see next year what we will do. We're working on some new stuff, but um, yeah, just more touring as, as always. Yeah. And now, when you meet these people, uh, uh, do you already plan maybe some collaborations and side projects? Uh, I have no idea. Those things kind of grow naturally. Um, I don't really know what's going to happen, but I mean, so many things have happened to us just on the road. So I'm sure there'll be some collaborations and things. Yeah. Great, then we're looking forward to that, and uh, also that the next tour might bring you back to Switzerland. And it was a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you for having Thank you. me. This is Joanna from First Aid Kit, and we'll be back with more. Until then, see ya. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you.